Ladies and gents, we are reviewing the Gambit Pinnacle SMG Exit Strategy. Now you can pick up this quest from our dear friend, the Drifter. It will require some time spent inside of Gambit, medals earned, as well as multi-kills for this SMG. Now it doesn't look like that big of a grind, to be honest with you, in comparison to our previous Pinnacle weapons, but that's the point. These are ritual weapons, AKA watered down Pinnacles. Now today we're gonna be taking a look at the roles on this SMG, as ritual weapons are supposed to provide us a perk combination that we've never seen before. We're also going to be comparing this against another SMG that I'm sure some of you have seen called Recluse. Now that may be an unfair comparison to some of you, but they're both SMGs. And if you actually sit down and say, hey, I want to bring an SMG either into PvP or PvE, well, exit strategy better be packing. Now first up, intrinsically, this is an adaptive SMG, meaning it has a well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy. But the main thing to take away from that this weapon shoots at 900 rounds per minute now our barrel perk here is arrowhead break doesn't really boost any of our stats the main thing to take away from that is it adds on plus 30 recoil direction so exit strategy even for my controller users should be pretty vertical it also comes with ricochet rounds for that increase in stability as well as range and now we get to the traits first up we have underdog this weapon gains a boost to reload speed as your health gets lower kind of a garbage trait previously at least in d1 you actually got a boost there to range as your health got lower. I think I would have preferred that version of Underdog over this one. It also comes with Swashbuckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. A very good trait, guys, for both PvP and PvE. And finally, we have Surrounded. This weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Obviously, an easier trait to proc in something like PvE over PvP, but it does substantially throw that damage up, especially when paired with something like Surrounded Spec. Now, our other trait next to Surrounded is Threat Detector. A fantastic trait, guys. Actually, one of my favorite for both PvP and in PvE. But you get an increase in reload speed stability and handling when enemies are in close proximity and it'll actually add stacks of threat detector the more enemies you have close to you which pairs perfectly here with something like surrounded the weapon also comes with a plus 10 stability masterwork so again, that stability in combination with something like Arrowhead Break makes this weapon pretty manageable. Now this weapon is a 900 round per minute SMG, but it's in that adaptive archetype, putting it at a 20 impact variant, resulting in this SMG doing 17 per crit and 13 per body inside of Crucible. Now the TTK values, base TTK values are not bad. I mean, you're still looking at a 0.73 second TTK value, optimal, and a 0.93 second TTK value in terms of body shot. A lot of forgiveness there, and even more forgiving than something like Recluse, which is present in that lightweight archetype. Now, when we start checking out things like Surrounded and Swashbuckler, this of course increases our damage very nicely. And something like PvP, Swashbuckler times one starts off hitting 18 per crit and 13 per body, and will max out at 22 per crit and 15 per body with Swashbuckler times five. And you probably see me shoulder charging a bunch. This is actually the best way to proc something like Swashbuckler times five inside of PvP. You go in for the shoulder charge you get the melee kill and then you turn around with a weapon that is now hitting 22 per crit and 15 per body now with something like surrounded plus surrounded spec which is something unique here to this smg as i think the only other smg that can roll with something like surrounded is callus mini tool exit strategy here can hit 23 per crit and 17 per body so it actually is doing more damage to something like swashbuckler times five inside of pvp the problem is as great as these damage values sound this weapon Weapon is coming in second place every twisted turn to recluse i wanted to find some sort of silver lining here where i can be like you know what hey hey recluse doesn't have as much range as exit strategy not the case damage fall off for exit strategy starts at 14 meters whereas recluse its damage fall off starts at 15 and a half meters on top of that these damage values from swashbuckler times five which is much harder to proc as well as something like surrounding and surrounded spec inside of pvp both of these traits which are actually really good traits all fall short of master of arms as recluse with that trait hits 25 per crit and 25 per body for a whopping 0.47 time to kill my god it's no wonder exit strategy can't beat this thing it's broken but the other side of things ease of use a weapon can be less lethal but have ease of use that will make me use it over its more lethal counterparts exit strategy is 
actually not a bad feeling gun. And if you could tell from the gun model, if you're a fan of something like New City, this is right up your alley. I love that SMG. To this day, that is still my favorite SMG. But exit strategy doesn't quite have the ease of use that something like Recluse has or even something like New City. And I don't know what it is about it, but it just kind of throws me off when you go to aim down sights. It's as if it's not centered correctly. It kind of like kicks to the right a little bit instead of directly centering itself when you aim down sights. No, it doesn't make a lot of sense. What I'm trying to get at is that every twist and turn, whether it's damage fall off, lethality, or it's ease of use and just feeling is all falling short of Recluse. Now I know Recluse is a pinnacle weapon and maybe that's the point. All of these ritual weapons going forward will never be our year two pinnacle weapons. And if you're okay with that, then I, okay, I guess I'm in the minority. I like pinnacle weapons though and i know some of these pinnacle perks are hard to balance around but there would have been a way to make exit strategy stand against the power of recluse for starters something like swashbuckler and surrounded should be something you can proc together that is the only way that you can actually allow this smg to compete with some of our pinnacle weapons and that would have been a unique trade combination that we have not seen this role with surrounded and threat detector we've already seen it with callous mini tool so this whole thing about ritual weapons being unique because they present some sort of perk combination that we've never seen is false. I have not seen that. All I've seen is a number of traits that could be unique, but they're in the same columns for sakes of balance, which is a difficult task to do when there are weapons like Recluse who outclasses something like this SMG on every level. Now for PVE, there is a moment there where something like Exit Strategy can shine. On something like Greg, we're hitting 988 for crit and 735 for body. And again, this is with Surrounded plus Surrounded spec and even at swashbuckler times five we're hitting 914 per crit and 701 per body now granted swashbuckler times five only lasts for like four and a half seconds whereas something like surround and surround a spec you just have to be surrounded right which in something like pve is not a hard thing to do when comparing these numbers though to something like recluse recluse hits 918 per crit and 908 per body and this is with master of arms proct now similar to something like swashbuckler master of arms can only last for five seconds so in terms of like damage per second or just overall dealing damage against say like a boss, exit strategy has the upper hand. But when is the last time you went into any damage phase and everybody on the race squad was like, hey, get your SMG out. Are y'all ready? It doesn't happen because it's not meant to be a high damage weapon. I like it in PVE, guys. I, I really do. I was running some Menagerie today and proccing something like Surrounded and Surrounded Spec, and it was extremely nice. And with something like Threat Detector, getting all those stacks of Threat Detector for that increase in reload speed, and it being a Kinetic for that extra 10% damage, depending on what you want to rock in your loadout, this opens up that energy slot. So whether it's something like Divinity, Ariana's Vow, Sunshot, there are options in that energy slot that you can now rock as having a weapon comparable to Recluse in some ways opens things up for us. Exit strategy, guys, it leaves a lot to be desired. And I, I know I've been kind of negative when I've reviewed these ritual weapons and I'm being negative for a reason. I don't like them. It's simple. Now, there's many weapons I can look at and I can go, hey, you know what? I see the value in this thing. I see the creativity. I see what Bungie was trying to do. And I will always give an A for effort for those things. Service plus one catalyst will be considered garbage to many, many people. But I love the creativity that was put into that exotic catalyst. Exit strategy, Randy's throwing knife, whatever that LMG is called, these ritual weapons are essentially the same weapons we've been seeing now for the past year from Black Armory. And that is those augmented weapons that you got from either Gambit, the Vanguard, or Crucible that just happen to have an extra trade in the collar. There's no perk combinations here that are unique. There's nothing here about these weapons that outclasses or even matches that of Pinnacles. Randy's throwing a knife is kind of a different scenario considering we don't have many 260 round per minute scout rifles. So it actually has a shot. But exit strategy here, it's got a lot stacking against it. And like I said, the only way this SMG would have matched the lethality of something like Recluse or even surpassed it is if it actually had a truly unique perk combination. Swashbuckler, Surrounded, proccing those two together. And we're not even talking about the awkwardness that these traits provide. Considering that Swashbuckler can be proccd on melee, it would have been nice if we had Swashbuckler and Grave Robber. But that's whatever. I, I was okay with that if they wanted to take the Surrounded route. My 
my issue is is there is an opportunity to actually make these things unique considering that they are ritual weapons they don't have traits on them that don't exist anywhere else these are traits we have already seen previously on multiple weapon types within the same weapon archetype but the combos are truly lacking creativity so guys get your hands on extra strategy i know i kind of just talked a bunch of trash about it it really isn't a bad smg and if recluse ever gets nerfed which i honestly thought i was going to get nerfed in this current sandbox but it didn't so i have no idea when that day will come but when it comes maybe exit strategy will be better but again i don't necessarily like to sit there and bank on the day the nerf hammer comes down on our other weapons i like to see the level of creativity that's been poured into our pinnacle weapons over the past year also be put into these ritual weapons and by no means would these weapons be broken because like we've already seen said there is plenty of broken stuff already in the game fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right